guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thank you guys so much for stopping by for another review. Tonight we've got a beer from Heist. Heist is out of Charlotte, uh, North Carolina. This is going to be uh, their Hazy India Pale Ale Maximum Frequency, which is a 6.5% New England style IPA. Uh, this is brewed with Galaxy Mosaic, Racal, and Strata Hops. This one does not have a canned on date. We're just lucking out with those, aren't we? Uh, anyway, can art's pretty cool. Uh, I've had a few beers from Heist. They do some decent stuff uh, from what I've had. I, I still, uh, I'm still waiting for the beer you know that will blow me away from them. Um, you know, I, I have high hopes when I drink their beers, especially with this one. I mean, it's got some great hops in it: Galaxy, Mosaic, Racal, Strata. Should be pretty tropical, I would think. See what it says on Untapped. Uh, hazy IPA, brewed with the same hops I just mentioned. It says all mosaic on the first dry hop, blend of Galaxy Strata and mosaic on the second dry hop. Tropical fruit, slightly dank quality with a hint of bitterness. This is getting a 4.02 on Untapped, so pretty solid stuff. Let's go ahead and get this in our uh, glass to mouth. Michael Scott. Prison Mike Glass. All right. So, yeah, um, like a light to medium haze. Um, I can kind of see a little bit of, uh, of light through it, a little bit of, I can kind of make out the computer screen back there just a little bit, um, see some Carbonation bubbles uh, streaming up as well. It's got a nice light gold color. Uh, as far as the head goes, it's about a finger's worth of uh, bright white soap sudsy head. Looks like we're getting some nice lacing on this one. It's already leaving a good bit there. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in this one. Wow, it smells nice. It smells really good. Yeah, I get a big uh, mosaic um, aroma up front. Uh, it's got that berry thing going on. It's got a big, like, peachy type thing going on with it. Get a little bit of the, the gym sock, like, dankness type thing. You do get some general citrus notes, you know, your, your orange, tangerine, a little bit of grapefruit. You get some pineapple. I'm getting like a bit of like a, like a dusty, like, <laughs> it almost reminds me of like, I think I've said this even in another review before. I don't know if it was for like an IPA or what, but uh, think back to like being a kid or just like going to a library or something and the way those old books smelled. Uh, in the library, it's kind of getting kind of get something similar to that. A little bit of like a green earthiness type thing, like a, um, I guess like a, like an herb type thing, fresh cut herb. Anyway, it smells pretty nice. Um, you know, it's it's not crazy, but it is a little bit more. Um, expressive I guess or, or just more pungent than I thought it was going to be so we're off to a good start let's go ahead and try it cheers hmm. yeah that was pretty nice that dusty like whatever that is Definitely comes across a lot more on the palate. Uh, you still get a lot of the mosaic, but it's got a little bit more of a bitterness than uh, you would normally get into. Or, gosh, can't even speak. It's got a little bit more bitterness than you would normally expect out of a New England style IPA. Uh, it's got a nice mouthfeel to it, though. Yeah, it's not like super ripe fruit or anything like that. 
It's like a, I don't know, like that bitterness that I'm getting along with that like dusty whatever it is. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, it, it just, it gives you like a, I don't know if that's what you would think, but when I taste it, it, it reminds me of like a dustiness, like a must, maybe, maybe musty is a better word. Um, but it's like that mixed with, uh, you know, the citrus fruit, the tropical fruit, and the, uh, the like, berry thing. In my opinion, it tastes quite a bit different than what the aroma is. Pretty dry. Uh, it, it does not stick around very long. Uh, six point... What did we say it was? Six point eight, six point five percent. You don't taste that at all. I mean, you would. You're not going to pick up any alcohol in this one. It's just, you know, it's an easy drinking um, IPA for sure. That mustiness, though. I, I, I guess. I mean, I apologize if that's not the right word, but it just rides all the way through. And for me, like I said, it comes across as like this bitterness almost. Uh, and then you do, like I said, you still get some of those citrus fruits and the uh, the berry character. But yeah, it's you know pretty good stuff. Uh, it's not crazy. Um, it's still not up to what I think they can do. Um, you know, I think they they have a good reputation. So I, I'm just looking for that beer that's going to take me over the top. Uh, for them, you know, like I said, they do some tasty stuff. I, I've been happy with everything I've had from them, but it hasn't blown me away yet, and I'm still looking for that. So, uh, anyway, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the review. Um, hopefully, you're enjoying a nice beverage yourself. Uh, if you liked this video, please do me a favor and like it and leave a comment and even subscribe if you're feeling generous. I've noticed from checking on some of the analytics stuff, most of my views come from um, non subscribers. So, uh, you know, if you do, if you watch my videos regularly or, or semi-regularly, um, you know, I invite you just to, to go ahead and subscribe uh, and keep up with them a little bit if you want. Uh, really trying to grow the channel. It's taking some time. I've had some little spots where I didn't upload for a while, stuff like that. But uh, I would like to keep it a pretty regular thing. So, uh, and I would love to have all of you guys here with me. So anyway, let me know if you had this beer. I uh, would love to talk about it and see what you guys think. Uh, let me know if they do some, you know, some of the good like hype stuff. Um, you know, it, it's a brewery that I'm interested in. So anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.